Taurus friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, July 22nd to August 4th, 2019. Now, just as a reminder, Taurus, I'm reading for a lot of you. If the reading doesn't resonate, you know, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. I always suggest you do that anyway. It does give you a bigger picture. So I am using... For you guys, the Morgan Greer Tarot Deck for Taurus, the Collective Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs for Taurus, Taurus, July 22nd to August 4th, 2019. didn't flip up, so I'm not even going to look at it. Only if they flip up. Taurus. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Taurus, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Um, Facebook Live. I'm there Monday, Wednesday for your weekly general reading. I'd love to have you guys follow me there. I do really post some cool shit on my Facebook page. You guys will love it, I promise. Just bear with me. You guys are my first sign up today. Why are these not laying right? All right. Oh, nice. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, justice. Okay. So I'm also pulling you guys a Moonology Oracle card. And Heal Yourself Oracle cards. Beautiful deck. Huge deck, but beautiful. This is the front. The, the, both of these decks are only red in the upright. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way here. Okay. Taurus. Moonology. Okay, Taurus, so at the bottom of the deck, you do have justice here. And I could definitely, a decision definitely is very important for many of you. Could be a legal decision. Legal matters could be important. Some of you could be waiting on signing something like a contract, a legal document. For those of you that a, that a decision might need to be made, a decision, like I said, it does seem very significant. And for some of you, I do see a decision coming in. For those of you that are waiting on, on one, it could be a legal decision that some of you are hearing. Or it could be you that's making a big decision. Your overall energy is the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, because it's in the overall 
position. Oh, it doesn't matter. You have the king and I just realized you have the king and the queen here. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign, male or female. It doesn't matter. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And I also feel like, you know, whatever decisions you're making, you guys are going to follow your heart. This is also someone that will trust their intuition and their instincts. More emotional energy here, too. We are still in the sign of cancer. You are starting out with death. So you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this is, you know, endings, new beginnings. It also represents transformation. You know, where things will never be the same. And here with the Two of Wands, something definitely... So if something is ending for you, I do feel like you are focused on the future, making plans. I just don't see you down or sad about this at all, Taurus. I don't. I mean, sure, you could be a little bit more emotional than normal. But as far as you being upset, I am just not feeling that or getting that at all. So as far as this ending and new beginning, this change with the death card. I really feel like you're happy about it. And again, planning for the future. And literally about to start down a new path. You know, six of swords, you know, mentally moving forward. Moving on from shitty times to much more calmer, peaceful times. Definitely moving away from difficulties, any challenges that you felt in the past. With justice, I really feel like things are definitely balancing out for you in some way, shape, or form. You probably dealt with some challenges when it comes to this. You know, but you are definitely moving forward. And you do have news communication coming in with the Page of Swords. This person's got something to say. So you definitely could be hearing something. Also, something could have been delayed. And now it's finally coming in. Like it was delayed in the past and now it's, bam, it's finally here. Things are finally moving forward. You know, with the Ten of Wands, I do feel like you have so much going on. Like, you know, you have a full-time job, a family. Maybe, you know, you work overtime. You also have a family. You just have a lot going on at this time. But you're dealing with it. You're still moving forward. You know, the King of Swords is here. So you do have you do have two people here. You know, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. So definitely a Libra could be important or an Aries Taurus male. Because you also do have the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with a couple of men or a couple of women. It could be your spouse, your partner, your boss. This could even be your attorney. For those of you that have like a legal matter going on. Your, your attorney definitely could be communicating with you. And you also have the Queen of Cups. So you do have a couple here. For some of you, your relationship is important. For some of you, unfortunately, you really could be getting divorced. But really, if that's the case, I just don't see you down or upset about it. I really don't. I see you very focused on moving forward. On Focused on the future. I really feel like some of you 
are literally planning for a new life because you're moving in a new direction. If you're someone that that's getting a divorce, you're immediately starting down a new path. And that's what you're focused on. And with the emperor, especially if you're male, you know, the emperor is a strong, confident and power, you know, powerful. You probably do feel more in control. Or even taking back your power in some way. In particular, you men. I feel like something was stressful for you. It, it was definitely weighing, weighing you down. But you in particular are feeling in control. And if it's not a divorce, it could be a legal matter. But it's definitely you feeling more in control. And when it comes to certain things, you probably felt like things were out of control in the in the past but definitely going through changes and things are improving for you and when it comes to making decisions you know just make sure that you're listening to your intuition you're following your heart but overall really a great reading wow unbelievable Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Yeah, something's ending. You're definitely, you're eclipsing someone out of your life for sure. But again, you, you're, I just don't see you sad about it. Oh, and I didn't even realize that you have, have faith here. Literally, listen to your intuition, stay positive and keep the faith that you are moving towards new beginnings. Listen to follow your heart, listen to your intuition and then go for it. It's great. It is really great. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, my God. Listen, if you're single, you're going from single to someone from the past coming back. That could be for some of you if it's love what this ending is about. Someone from the past coming back. Because 99.999% of the time, this is love. Someone you already know. So those of you that are single, definitely could be getting into a new relationship. And those of you that are getting divorced, I think it has to, it's because somebody from the past came back. Probably swept you off your feet or is going to. Big changes here, though. Really big. Great reading, though, guys. Love it. If it didn't resonate, you know, definitely watch your other signs. Those of you that follow me on Facebook, I'll see you guys Monday. I'll see you Wednesday. Those of you that don't, I'll see you back here for your August. Wow, August. I can't believe we're going into August already. The blink of an eye, this summer's going to be over. Your, um... August monthly readings. Absolutely love you guys. Take care.